Hi everybody. I just got in the new BLK to go, or at least my new BLK to go scanner. So I wanted to do a little product opening here and, and see and show you what's in the box. So it's still in its cellophane, it just showed up. And we're gonna just open it up real quick. All right. So here's our box. And we will try to figure out how to open it. Oh, okay. So it's got a sticker on the front. Open that guy up. And there she is. Brand new BLK to go. And we got a BLK to go manual. We have the new, or I don't know if it's new, but in relationship to the BLK products, it's kind of a new charger. So the batteries stand up and it can charge four at a time, which is really good. And then we have the initialization tabletop disc for the scanner. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, Couple of small items here. It looks like a wrist strap. Yeah. So, in case you you lose grip of it or whatever, it won't fall off. Um, you definitely want to use that. And um, a USB-C data cable. So that's how you can communicate with it. You can also um, well, that's the best way to communicate with it. And then let's see what we have in here. It's probably the batteries. Nope, sorry. This one is the charger for, uh, well, the power for the charger. Batteries must be in this one. Here what we have is European, American, all the different types of power cables for this. So pretty much any country you have, you will have the right cable in there. And then they must be shipping the batteries in here now. So this is the kind of travel case for it. Fairly well padded and uh, Felt on the inside. We have the BLK Go itself. Here's a battery. So we'll take the to, you know, typical thing, a plastic piece covering the, the contacts. So we'll put that one back in. Um, I guess for now we'll actually take it out just so that we can charge it. And when we charge, we're gonna take it where the contacts are here and place it just in there. And then of course, plug the charger in. And then we've got our other two batteries. So uh, for a total of three batteries, shipped standard with the BLK to go. Now, if you're familiar with the Leica BLK product line, then you'll know that the BLK360 has been tremendously successful for several years now. And the um, uh, and then we've added the BLK to go, uh, the BLK3D, the, the BLK to fly, and even the BLK on an automated um, robot, basically. So I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Bruce White. I am the president of Sterling Systems. I've uh, been working with Leica for a long time, and uh, we are one of their distribution partners. So I'm super excited about having the BLK to go um, in, as a scanner in my fleet. And uh, if you need a demonstration of it or have any questions, please give me a call. Uh, it'll 
contact information will be at the end. And uh, but the reason I get so excited about the DLK to go is the speed at which you can collect data. It, it's phenomenal. Um, just to walk through a space and, and have it um, done. <laughs> you know, it, it's not like a terrestrial laser scanner that needs to be stationary and then you need to, to register it. Those scanners, such as the DLK360, the RTC360, they'll get you a little higher quality data for sure. Um, if, if you're looking for really tight accuracies, you'll need to go that way. Um, if you're just doing spaces and trying to get walls, doors, and windows, you know, things that are a little, that are sizable, um, it'll do a really good job for you. Get the point cloud all together, make a slice through it, either trace it up in CAD or, or in uh, a BIM software such as Revit. And, uh, but the data, um, when you're talking about those kind of large objects like the walls and the doors and the windows, it's the, the accuracy of a model, whether you generate from BLK um, to go or a BLK 360 or an RTC 360, quite honestly, the quality of your model is going to be about the same. Um, you're just not going to get a lot of detail on something really small, like a light switch, for, for instance. You'll see it, but it won't be super well defined as it would be um, with uh, one of the other scanners that I mentioned. Uh, so I will be doing some follow-up videos of results of, of um, some test projects and so forth, how long it took and what was the end result, that sort of thing. So keep an eye out for that, and if you like the video, of course, uh, subscribe to, to our web page. And if you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you so much. Have a great day.